In this video, I will show how you can create a dendrogram based on fingerprint data coming from different experiments. In my database, 47 entries are present. The fingerprint patterns I will use for the construction of my dendrogram are stored in the fingerprint type experiments RFLP1 and RFLP2. In the first step, I need to create a composite data set containing the two fingerprint types as input. To create such a composite data set, I click on this button in the Experiment Types panel, select the last option from the list and press OK. I am prompted to specify a name. The data set is now added to the database. Double-clicking on the dataset opens the composite dataset window. I will include both RFLP1 and RFLP2 in my dataset. Both RFLP1 and RFLP2 are now selected in the dataset and are marked with a green V sign. I can correct for the different number of bands in the compared pattern with this option. Since the clustering is performed in the comparison window, I first need to make a selection in the main window. With the Ctrl A shortcut, all entries are selected at once. Clicking this button in the comparisons panel opens a new comparison for my selected entries. The composite data set is listed in the Experiments panel. I select this experiment, click on this button and choose the first option. When selecting the option Average from Experiments, the similarity matrices of the individual experiments are calculated first and from these matrices a combined matrix is calculated by averaging the values. I select this option, press Next and press Finish. The dendrogram is displayed in the dendrogram panel. To view the settings used for the calculation of the individual matrices, I can click on this button. Both for RFLP1 and RFLP2, the Pearson correlation was used. These settings can still be changed in the main window. It is also possible to perform a clustering based on the band class table. But first we need to perform a band matching for RFLP1 and RFLP2. I select RFLP1 and select Fingerprints Perform Band Matching. I do the same for RFLP2. If I now display the data for RFLP combined, The binary band matching table for RFLP1 and RFLP2 is displayed. I can now perform a clustering based on this character table. I make sure RFLP combined is selected in the experiments panel. I select this option again. I make sure cluster analysis is selected. And I can now choose one of the options under character data. Binary coefficients measure the similarity based upon different and common bands. Numerical coefficients use the band intensities. As an example, I will select a binary coefficient and press Next and Finish. The dendrogram is displayed in the dendrogram panel. This ends this video. Please tune in to our other videos where more functionality is explained. Thank you for watching.